Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a tutorial for you using the Laura Mercier Artist Palette. I am loving this palette. I have a whole review with swatches and my thoughts and everything on my channel, so I will link that down below for you guys. But I wanted to do a look for you. Um, this is one I've worn several times since I've had the palette. It's kind of a deep, smoky eye with some kind of metallicness on the, is that a word? Metallicness? We're gonna say it is. On the lid, and then it has kind of some warmth in the crease and on the lower lash line. I love it. So here's kind of what the palette looks like. Oops, don't wanna blind you. It's really, really gorgeous. Um, so many fun looks you can do with it. And like I said, this is one that I've really been loving. So if you want to see how to get this dark, smoky, warm, purpley eye, then just keep watching. Okay, we're gonna start out with an eyeshadow primer. So I'm just gonna be using the Wet n Wild Fergie eyeshadow primer and apply that to your lids. Helps your eyeshadow stay a lot longer. Okay, now I'm gonna take MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm just gonna apply that to the upper part of my lid because I'm gonna put another color on the bottom. This just kind of helps, you know, cover up discoloration and even everything out. Now take Maybelline's Color Tattoo in matte brown and apply that to your lids. I really love this. It's a matte brown color, hence the name. And just apply that to your lids. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our Artist Palette and I'm gonna get some of this color right here, which is Fresco. And this is gonna be our transition color. So just apply that right above your crease and blend that really well. This is a MAC 217 I'm using. Okay, now I'm gonna get a flat shader brush and we're gonna go in with Violet Pink right there, this really dark purple, and apply that to your lids. Stay low on your lids and slowly start blending that up. Stay right on your lids. Okay, now go in with like a crease brush or a little blending brush like this. This is just an e.l.f. something I found at Target. And we're gonna get some more of that color in just a little bit. And we're gonna take that right at the edge of our eyelid into our crease, slowly blending that up. Okay, now take some kind of a tiny brush. This is just a crown something or other. And we're gonna get some of African Violet, this really beautiful shiny color. And we're gonna put it right in the center of our lids. Obviously it has fallout, so be prepared. Okay, now take some kind of a little small smudger brush or something like this, and we're gonna get some of Truffle and apply that to our lower lash line. This really helps add kind of a warmth to the look. It brings in that sort of um, terracotta fresco color and really brings it all together. Okay, now we're gonna take some of Vanilla Nuts and apply that as our brow bone highlight. Okay, now take your favorite eyeliner. I'm using the Marc Jacobs Highliner and I'm going to line my waterline and do a very thin line on my upper lash line because you want this to be more kind of smoky so you don't want to um, start line. You want it to be more smudgy. I can take a smudger brush and kind of smudge that out a little bit. Okay, now just curl your lashes and apply your favorite mascara. I'm going to be using CoverGirl Clump Crusher and the Jordana Best Volume Extreme Volumizing Mascara.
Okay guys, so here is the finished look. I hope that you like it, so stay tuned to find out what I use on the rest of my face. So what I used on the rest of my face. I have been trying out the Kat Von D foundation, so that's what I'm wearing today, and so far I really like it. Um, and then I set it with the Makeup Forever, Forever High Definition Powder. Love this powder. And then for bronzer, I've got the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer that came in the A Few of My Favorite Things palette. I love this bronzer. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. And then for highlighter, I've got the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. I'm becoming a Too Faced junkie. Love it. This is gorgeous. I don't hear many people talking about it, but it's incredible. So that's my highlighter. And then for blush, I'm wearing the Balm In Stain in Pinstripe. And it's this pretty kind of mauve color. Great for fall. It looks pretty dark, but you can really, you can make it lighter where it's just this really nice mauve color for fall. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I think it goes really well with a lot of different fall looks, especially ones like this that have kind of mauve purpley colors. So loving that. And then for lipstick, I'm wearing the L'Oreal Colorish Balm. And this is one of the limited edition pop shades. I found this at Target. This is in Lilac Sweetness. So you can see it's just kind of a nice pinky color that I think goes well with these kind of looks. So that's what I've got on my face. All right, guys, so this is the finished look and tutorial. I hope that you really enjoyed it. I am loving this palette. It is my new best friend. There are so many different looks you can do with it, like I did today, a dark purple eye, a dark brown smoky eye, a lighter pinky eye. I mean, so many possibilities with this thing, and the shadows are amazing quality. So loving it. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you're new. I do a lot of tutorials, reviews, hauls, favorites, all kinds of stuff. So I would love to have you to my channel. Leave questions down below, and I hope you like this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!